Okay. Hi, everyone. Again, I'm Burton Hirschman, and this is the Intermediate Tableau Workshop. And we're going to continue on with the product uh, dashboard that we're going to make at the end here. Uh, so we, in the last one, we made this product view. And in this next one, we're going to make a uh, extremely detailed, and it's going to be a little hard to uh, understand exactly what you're looking at until we actually make it on our own. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Let's go ahead and create our new worksheet by clicking on this new worksheet tab over here. And uh, let's call it um, product details. So right click it, let's click rename, and we can do uh, product details. That works. Um, okay, so this one, we're gonna be creating a uh, dot chart showing the sales and profit of every single product that we sell. And we're gonna break it down by category and by segment. Uh, in this case, when we look at the data, um, we can see that, you know, we break it down by category and that's, you know, that's our furniture, our office supplies and technology that we've been working with this whole time. Uh, and so, you know, furniture would be chairs and, and tables. Um, but our segment would be who it's, who's, who's buying this, what type of chair is it? Is it an office chair for people to, uh, to be sitting out in at work or is it a, a dinner table chair? Uh, so we've got consumer, we've got home office and we have uh, corporate. Those are our three different segments. So let's get started. So let's bring a category and subcategory into rows. Uh, we could do that, we could drag product in, and we could click our little plus here to have category and subcategory. And then we also wanna bring, break it down by um, segment. So let's bring segments over into uh, the columns. We can drag the segment blue pill. Okay, now you can start to see it's gonna, it's gonna, how, how this is gonna work. And uh, let's bring sales right into, uh, right into the canvas here. Okay, so now it's breaking it down by, again, segment and subcategory. Okay, um, let's also bring the, uh, let's change the marks card. This is what we, what we could do. Let's change the marks card where it has it as automatic, let's change it to circle and see what happens. Ooh, not quite what I'm looking for. Um, I want to be able to see each of the sales broken down um, visually. So let's go over to our show me button and let's change it to this bar chart here so we can see what the... Um... Okay. So we can, so we can uh, see what each of the, uh, I'll bring it back so we can do it together. Uh, when I change it to the bar chart, it actually changed it and put segments over in our uh, row section. And it's breaking it down a little bit too much for us. We can actually take our segments and put it over in our column section in front of sales. And you can see, I'm gonna unclick my show me button. Uh, now we can visually see what the sales were for each subcategory broken down by segments. And we can mouse over and see uh, what the sales were. Uh, if we want to break it down even further and get more granular, we could drag product name over into the detail. So click your product name and drag it into detail. And you can see it starts to break it down. And we can see as we hover over, we can actually see, uh, let's find one. This one had a lot of sales. In our tech section, we have our phone here, right? No, no surprise that uh, phones have high sales that this Astra 57i uh, phone uh, had a lot of sales. And over in our chair section, we could see the DMI, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce some of this stuff, collection mission style designer wood chair um, uh, had a lot of sales as well. Uh, right now it's a little ugly, so we can go over to our marks card, click automatic, and let's find something that works. Maybe square will work. Uh, let's try circle. Circle looks really good. So now we can easily, as we mouse over with our tooltip, see which, um, which product had the best sales. So if we go over to technology, we actually had a copy machine. Uh, this Canon Image Class 2200 Advanced Copier 
uh, had $32,900 worth of sales. Uh, that's pretty cool to see. Uh, we can actually go ahead and um, break it down a little bit more by uh, showing like what our profit margin was on as a, as a color on each one of these products. Um, so I'm going to look around and see if we if we can do pro product uh, profit margin. Um, so we don't have a profit margin um, hill over here on the left. So we can create one. So let's go over to analysis, and we can create a calculated field. This is how we're going to do it. So our profit margin, if we want to see our profit margin, we have to know our profit margin formula. Um, let's actually call it profit ratio because I want to show it as a percentage. So let's call this, uh, this is a calculated field, so let's call it CF um, profit ratio. Okay. And what's our profit ratio formula? So it'll be the sum right, of the profits. And I'm using my arrow keys here and pressing tab to select it. Let's do profit over sales. That's how we would get our profit margin. So let's do the sum of the sales. And again, I'm just pressing tab and use my arrow keys to select everything. And once it says the calculation is valid, we can just press OK. And uh, Tableau will create this uh, little green pill for us with this equal sign next to our green hashtag, and that's how we know it's a uh, numerical value. Um, and the equal sign tells us that it's a calculated field, but we also named it proper, properly. So um, nice. Actually, before we do anything else, I want to make it a, a percentage, uh, display as a percentage. So let's click on the drop down next to it uh, on the green pill. Let's go over to default properties, number format, just like here. Click it, and I want to make it a percentage. So let's just go ahead and click percentage, and I want to show it with uh, show it with one decimal place. So make sure you put it in one, or else it'll revert back to two. Press OK, and let's drag profit ratio into the color. This will break it down for us even more. So now we can see whatever is blue is profitable, and whatever is orange or deep orange is very not profitable. So right away, I'm looking for something very deep orange. We've got this machine over here with a negative profit ratio of 164%. It's horrible. Maybe it's worth looking into that. This is how we can figure out what we should be looking into and what we shouldn't be. Maybe something that's blue. Uh, let's look at this one over here. Uh, this is a, oh, the Canon <laughs> class 2200 advanced copier. Uh, not only does it have great sales, but it also has a good profit ratio. So it might be worth looking into that and figuring out, huh, why, why is that doing so well compared to this, uh, this other printer here that is losing us a lot of money? OK, uh, if we wanted to uh, change the color to make it a little bit easier to see what's profitable and what isn't, uh, maybe even just what isn't profitable, that might be interesting to look at. We can click the color section in our marks card, click color, go to edit colors. Uh, and where it says automatic, click that drop down, and let's change it to um, red black diverging. Uh, this way, we can see you know whatever's black is profitable, and whatever's red. Let's let's look into that a little bit more. Uh, so now it'll be uh, black will be profitable, red will be not profitable, and uh, let's break it down and make it a little bit clearer for us to see. Uh, so we can break it down by start and end. So let's have the start start at negative 0.5. So anything that's under that negative 50% profit uh, margin will be very dark red and vice versa with the a nice deep uh, black here, 0.5. So anything that's 50% or more would be point, you know, would be uh, that deep black here. And let's keep the center at zero. We can click OK and it'll change it all for us. So right away we can see, you know, anything that's black, we might have to look, we might not have to look into it, or we might want to study it to see why it's so profitable. And anything that's, you know, this deep red here, let's look at this guy. This is a bookcase uh, that is nearly 50%, losing 50% every time we sell one uh, on our profit. Okay. Uh, okay. So what else can we do with this? So this is just about all the information that I wanted to look at. Um, but it might not be so so clean. So we can actually uh, change the size of the of the circles. 
by uh, going over to the, our size in our marks card and let's make it uh, you know somewhere in between those those two tick marks. That's nice and clear. Click away. Um, we could also, uh, if we want to change the opacity of, in the color, we can go over into color, click the opacity, and let's change it to maybe ninety percent. Click OK, and that'll be uh, you know this way it'll it'll be nice and fresh and clean to look at. Um, we can also um, change this uh, section down here. Maybe I don't like that. It, maybe you're my manager. I don't like that. Uh, you know, it goes. You know, every five thousand dollars, you have another tick mark. So we can go ahead and double click um, over here on the x-axis, and uh, we can change it. So right now, it actually starts at a negative, which is odd because we're looking at sales. So we can change it to fixed. Let's change the fixed start to zero. And uh, we want the fixed end to be at, let's just say 30,000. Um, I'll show you guys the nifty trick Tableau has. So we can actually type the 30 in the letter K. And everyone knows that's that's 30,000 or $30,000. And Tableau knows 30K is $30,000. Um, so that's nice. And we can also get rid of the sales as a title here. Uh, so I'm going to go, because it says sales in every single uh, every single section here. So I'm gonna go ahead right here and just delete sales from our title. And you can see it actually deletes it in the background for us. Um, I also, you know, maybe don't like that. There's, you know, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 every single time. So I'm gonna go over to our tick marks and uh, instead of leaving it at automatic, I'm gonna do fixed and let's stick with zero and 10,000 as, uh, as our tick marks here. Let's close out of that and it'll actually save. You can see as, it, uh, as we were editing all that. It saved it in the background for us. Uh, something I'm noticing here is that uh, when I'm mousing over th everything and seeing my tooltip, that the sales don't have a dollar sign next to them. Uh, I, I kind of want to fix that. So I'm going to go over to our sales uh, green pill over here on the left, go to the drop down, and let's go over to default properties to change the number formatting. So let's go over just like we did with the profit ratio. So default property, default properties, number format, click it. And let's change it to a currency custom. Um, I don't really like decimal places when I'm looking at numbers like this, so I'm going to make it a zero. If you don't want decimal places, you have to put in that zero. Uh, if you leave it blank like this, it'll actually fill in that two right back in for us. So make sure it's at zero and click OK. And now, we, oh, and it actually updates that, you know, before it's at 30K, uh, it updates the, uh, the X uh, axis down here on the bottom. And when we mouse over it, we can see the dollar sign as a full uh, for sales. I'm going to do the same for profit just for practice. Go ahead and go to profits. We're going to change the default properties to number number format, currency, change it to zero, custom zero. OK. And uh, should, be, should be pretty clean now. Um, I don't love that it says segment up here. I know what it is. So I can go ahead and you know, right click it and hide field labels for columns and it'll go away. Uh, let's do one more thing while we're doing this viz. If I wanted to see the median um, sales for each of my products, um, I can actually put in a reference line into each one of these, uh, for each one of these uh, subcategories. So let, we could do that in analysis and then we can go to, hmm. Trend lines. Nope. Oh, no, we can go into analytics. Uh, right in our analytics tab over here on the left, uh, we can add a reference line or an average line. Uh, so let's drag a, let's take a reference line and just like all those other pills, I can click it and drag it. And I want to do it broken down by a sub subcategory. So I'm going to do it by cell. And uh, so it'll, it'll automatically open up this wizard for us. Let's do it per cell. And instead of doing average, let's do median. If I want to see the median sale, uh, cell, medium sales per subcategory. That's really going to get me the cells and sales. Uh, and I want to change the formatting to uh, a bit of a thicker line. So it's very obvious to see. Make it, uh, let's, we can fill it in. Nope. Let's not do that. Leave it at none. So that's how the, uh, the fill works. 
Okay, I like that. So it's very, you know, we've got this nice thick line so we can uh, put, it, put in as a reference what the, what the median sales were. And uh, let's press, press okay. And that's it for this viz. Um, that's just about it. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one when we create our dashboard.